What's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? We are back in the Path of Exile, uh, doing our the little Hollow Palm technique run. We're exactly where we left off. I didn't play uh, this character at all last night. Um, so we are exactly where we was. Let's see, let's get rid of some of this stuff. And then I don't think I'm going to follow the guide anymore. I think I'm going to just kind of wing it for the rest of the points. Um, as you see, we got two passive points to put in. And I'm thinking, you know, I was looking at dual wielding. Of course, uh, the hollow palm thing, we get to... We're considered dual wielding as when we are unencumbered. So we want to get that dex and then any dual wielding damage bonuses. So I think we're just going to come down here and then go around these. And that should get us through the end of the campaign. Um, let's see. Let's do that. And then let's get back to it. So we got more people to talk to, huh? Be careful. So off to the toxic conduits. I the, the build is actually kind of fun to play. Um, I'm curious actually if it would scale um, very well into end game. Not sure where the hell I'm supposed to be going. We just gotta run through and get in the old Dodri fight. Uh, assuming she might beat me up a little bit. This will be my first... Uh, my first fight since um, some of the heavier hitter hitters started stepping in. Guess I was going the right way after all. Poison damage or whatever going. Lots of dots ticking here. Oh, dude, gross is going to be so much fun. No, he didn't. Um, a lot of indie devs, I didn't really push it with the developer at all, because a lot of indie devs don't know, all, all, they're not sure what they're going to charge for it all the way up to the very last minute. Where bigger companies, of course, have like a marketing department, do research and tell them what to put it at. You know, it's this one's a solo developer project. So, I mean, like I said, he's probably just not sure. Um, well, a lot of indie devs just aren't sure, so I didn't really, um, I was curious too. I have no idea. I think... I think 15 bucks would be a really good price for it. I think 20 bucks, it would be worth it. And I'm just not sure about anything higher than that, to be honest. But I think for like 15 to $20, it would be a really, really good deal. All right. Now, am I going to get my ass kicked? Or am I going to kick her ass? But we're not in yet. We got to go through the zone first. 
I am very curious, though, if this build has any end-game scaling potential. Now, obviously not for, like, killing Ubers or anything like that, but, you know, if you went for a super speedy raider build and could blast through maps doing this, would it be worth, you know, playing in an end-game fashion? Yeah, I mean, what what's planned for the future? Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of things in store. The reason I think... Um, what the hell? I've already cleared this zone? I'm not up to that just yet. I didn't already do this fight, did I? Or no, it wouldn't have saved from yesterday. Or I need to get to the end of the zone and then go down in that little grate or something like that. All right, now this is where we get our ass kicked. But I do, one thing for sure about Gross is it is crazy fun. And it's got an endless, um, it's got like an endless mode to it. With leaderboards and whatnot. And you can do really huge, crazy build outs. It's super, super fun to play. All right, here we go. First first boss of the day. And for some reason, I feel like I already did this one. But I mean, I guess I didn't. Or it wouldn't, I would have the quest finished, right? Ooh, she does hit hard. She slaps. She is a slapper. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I just did it on the other character makes it feel that way. I don't know. always end up having to like run around this entire map here to get this area figured out oh Jesus are you kidding me is it this way One big old square. What is it that I'm even looking for here? I'm looking for the bathhouse. Let me see. I'm a little bit leveled up, too. So I think I could probably just run through a lot of this stuff. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not it. But what the hell, man? Yeah, I don't know. I do not feel like I'm uh, going the right way here. Um, I don't remember. I've been talking to that developer for a couple of years. I'm not sure if I contacted him or if he contacted me first. Oh, I think I did a... I did a video on the demo of that game back when it was on Steam Next Fest. And the developer said, sent me a message and said thanks. And we just kept talking from there. There's a few upcoming game devs that are super cool. Uh, very easy to chat with and all that. That Frankenstorm TD game. That's another one that's going to be just a super, super unknown indie game. That's going to be just so, so fun. Um, that one... Hopefully we'll, uh, I'm hoping that one will be out in 2023, but we don't know yet. All right, we in the bathhouse. We need to kill, uh, Hector and take the wings of Asteri. God, I just so feel like I just did this. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I did just do it on a different character. But I just, I feel like it was on yesterday's stream, you know? Get wrecked, Victor. That's the trial. Hmm, so it's not going to be this way. I bet it's going to be up here. The out. Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. The High Gardens, here we are. Yeah, I feel like I've just been in the High Gardens, too. We need to go kill dude in the pools of terror. Just run through a little bit of this here. We walk right up on a pack. I'll uh, I'll kill him, but oh uh, man, there we go. <laughs> Didn't get over the fence. Well, I guess this is this my map. You're just constantly on top of stuff. So I found one of the cards last night. Ooh, ooh, I wasn't watching my health. I found one of the cards last night for uh, the Mage Blood. I didn't have aspirations of finding all the other cards, so I sold it. Yeah, stuff's starting to smack a little a little harder now. I mean, you know, obviously there's a bunch of mobs here too. My mana is gone.
I feel like some of these mobs I just can't run past now. A wand and a scepter. Actually, we'll keep both of those and look at them. Fractured uh, wand and scepter could potentially be a really incredible crafting base. This is where we're looking for. It is what we're looking for. The pools of terror. Now, these mobs are definitely hitting harder. Let's go into this. We'll get some chance to block going a little bit uh, and still increase our damage. All right, so who's in the pools of terror? This is that y Yagul guy. This one could definitely be ugly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, good lord. Stuff just hits so hard. Wow. Serious dots, man. Oof. Holy crap, that was damn near ugly. Indie games are always like that. I don't know. There's so much passion and everything that goes into indie games and so many like single developer projects. I mean, when, when a single developer indie game releases, that person was working, in a lot of cases, that person was working a day job and staying up late at night, every night, and developing their game. You know, you got to give kudos to these guys, and some of them, the gameplay is just so good, you know? See, do we want to be going with... Uh... Eric Holly. I think we do. Because it's the dots that are getting me. Oh, shit. Did I not get the... Or yeah, I got him. Good to see you inside. These owl eyes. I've been keeping them. Why are you still Needs to get some sun orb action. You know what? That's actually perfect. I wonder what level that is, because I was looking for one of those to roll on. I added, uh, I changed my righteous fire setup a little bit. I added an unset ring. I wonder what level that one is. Eh, it's item level 58. You you want something higher item level than that to use as a crafting base, I think. But, let's take a look at these other guys. Oh, that, oh my god, what a terrible, I mean, I could re-roll that. That is like the fracture you would want. Or one of. I mean, you would run, want dot multi, not fire damage over time multi, because you can add the fire damage over time multi. But man, that right there is an incredible start to a crafting piece. Let's see if we get lucky on this one, too. Not so much on that one. But that one wasn't the fracture. Derp. And cast speed. Uh, no love on that one either. This, I want to buy a... I'll probably just buy a higher end uh, unset ring. To use as a crafting base. But anyway, I, I, I've got... I feel like you move too slow. 
on shot. Righteous Fire, so I added a uh, phase run on an unset ring into the my Righteous Fire setup, and it makes a difference. It definitely makes a difference. Once more into the ring. Goodbye. Exile. Be careful. Find the Ankh of Eternity. All right, we going back to the bathhouse. And we're looking for the Lunaris Concourse, which should be... Hmm. Should be over here somewhere. But it's going to be down and over. Oh, well, maybe that's it right there. Oh, there it be. And we headed up to the Lunaris Temple here. After we yoinked that. I'm not up to that just yet. Yeah, I'm very, very curious um, at how this would potentially scale. I mean, you'd have to get your evasion rating way up and then maybe get some spell suppression too. And without all the, you know, not being able to equip a main hand, off hand, or, and gloves, it feels like it could be a little bit of a challenge. While still, uh, you know, hitting all your caps. Ooh, we didn't even need to kill that guy. I don't want to risk dying. Ever killing somebody we don't need, but I guess he's dead now, so. It's all good. Right, Lunaris Temple, here we go. Could be a waypoint not too far off, maybe? in the waypoint here hopefully uh i'm still running in the right right direction i don't um have one handy <clears throat> i'm following uh well i've kind of gone off track of it a little bit but for the most part i'm following that hollow palm twink leveling guide from uh max roll And just hoping for a personal best um, as far as time getting through. You know, I've never really been much of a s attempting to speedrun or whatever because I get so sidetracked and just want to chat or read something or whatever. Um, but I'm just trying to set a new personal best. So far, we're at we're about 10 minutes away from the 5 hours and 30 minute mark. And I'm in Act 8. Uh, so far, my personal best, though, is 9 hours. So I'm thinking, you know, might just be able to beat it. We'll have to see. But I do think that the build is kind of interesting. Um, and I'm wondering if you did like some crazy dex, dex stacking, if it would scale at all into doing like T16 maps or whatever. I mean, I think if you went with, like, a super speedy raider build, this, this might be a fun little build to play in maps. Oh, uh, it's an ARPG, uh, like Diablo. I mean, 
most top-down ARPGs, you know, you could say they all look like Diablo, to be honest. Diablo was the inspiration, uh, I think, for so many, so many of these games. Well, I just went in a big-ass circle. The only place I ran past over here without going down... Or, actually, there's two. <laughs> hmm. Oof, man, big damage. Well, that was not the right way. Uh, Path of Exile is by far the most successful uh, free-to-play ARPG, though. I mean, it's been out for 10 years. It's still widely played. I mean, if, I, I don't know how many people would be online right now, but if you looked at Steam numbers, I would guess it's probably like 30,000 plus. Ooh, 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 trapped. I mean, so I mean, the game is, it's crazy successful game. It's, uh, every league start, um, it's in Steam's uh, top 10 most played games list. Right, that was not right. It's not down, that's just a dead end, right? Yeah. I can never find this stupid place where the boss is. <laughs> Gotta be getting closer. Seems like we're going into uh, Bossville somewhere. Is this it? Yeah, is it? All right, here we go. How ugly is this gonna be? Let me put these points in. I think I'm gonna go down both of these. I think I'll come around here next. All right, this could be ugly. I'm not up to that just yet. That wasn't bad. That was nothing. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised that went as smooth as it did. I was expecting to get slapped once or twice there. Alright, back to town. I think now. 45,000 and peak today at 50k. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a widely successful game. And it's, we're a month, a month past... We're more than a month past this league, and the numbers just... I mean, obviously, they've gone down versus league start, but they're still super strong. All right. We got to go to this other temple now. Wasn't it right there, was it? I think it was. Yep, sure was.
All right, we need to get to Ankh of Eternity, go to the Reg Resurrection site, and then fight, do the Tolman fight. Hmm. Wrong turn. I feel like we gotta go out on those things. No, maybe not. No, it's definitely this way. Oh, here's where we go across. Should be it right here, right? Indeed it is. And then we gotta go to the resurrection site. Hmm. I think we gotta go over and then down, maybe? be the other side <clears throat> pardon me there it'd be maybe Defeat zombies, will do. Damn, he got beat down. Good lord. How could I have been so stupid? All right. Now off to the green gate. I think we got to run all the way back through the map. I wonder if it'd be quicker to... Eh, probably not. I was thinking, I wonder if it'd be quicker to just uh, hit the waypoint. Oh, shit. We'll take that exalted orb. Thank you very much, game. Appreciate you. I feel like I'm going the right way. I think it would have been quicker just to go back to the waypoint and run back through to the entrance. I'm not up to that just yet. Maybe it's way up past this way. It's definitely not looking like it. Hmm.
We're looking for the green gate. Am I in the right area? Shit, that's definitely the wrong area. I feel like the green gate should be like well obviously it's not here <laughs> where I feel like it should be and where it actually is is not the same thing <laughs> maybe we go down and back up around it seems like I remember the green gate being like off to the right there is a path going up that way Yeah, bet it's up here. Man, I was right here too. All right, we gotta kill that Gemling or Gemling Legion here. I can never remember exactly where those guys are at. Imagine that, huh? <laughs> Can't wait for rifted mode and gross. I don't know. Is that something that's... Are they having some sort of like rifted mode coming to gross? I haven't read about that. Oh, you were just just uh, just for memes. Gross is different. It's not like a loot type based game like Dungeon Defenders. It's you unlock these guns, you have these guns. You know, you unlock these defenses, you have these defenses. It's more about um, creating the build that's going to survive. The endless mode will be where most of the game's replay value comes from, as far as like long-term playtime. I was pretty stoked to see um, that they added a story element in, because the story element wasn't really there before, and now it is. Like, you actually play through a story. I didn't want to spoil any of that in the video, but I'll be, uh, I'll probably be streaming it tomorrow. Alright, I didn't get the Gemling guys, but this is where I'm supposed to leave. Is that where I'm supposed to leave? Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go out, but I gotta kill that Legion first, because that's talent points. What's up, Power? How you doing? Like I said, I can never remember where the hell these guys are at. I remember it being like a little square. Oh, here they are. I was going to say, I remember it being like a little opening like this. This is what I was about to say. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, man. Uh, starting off where I finished. I didn't play this last night. I've been uh, curious uh, if this has any possible like T16 mapping potential. Could you scale it up in that stage of the game? I wonder. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to play around with it before I go and do anything. You know, I did a... Uh... I dumped a bunch of divine. I mean, I'll make it all back um, by reselling the stuff. But I bunch of dumped a bunch of divines into um, 
that occult, uh, the witch last night, and I was gonna do that Herald of Thunder auto bomber type build, and it's just not really that fun. I set it all up, and then I did a couple of maps, and I just didn't really like it. So I'm, I've got all that gear back up on the, back up on the trade site. <laughs> Solaris Temple, here we come. So, same thing, we just gotta get up to the boss man. I could see if you could add a get a little bit more pizzazz going in this build. I could see it being really fun as like a speedy like a speedy raider type uh, setup, and just speed running through maps and occasionally punching the ground and wiping out packs. <laughs> But I don't know how viable it, it would be. And I think it would be tough to get the uh, evasion, spell suppression, and all of your... Um, God dang it. It's not the right way. I'm looking for level two. I'm not up to that just yet. You know, if you could, to get some spell suppression, your evasion up to where you would need it to be, and then still have your resistances... I think, I feel like you would have to leave yourself kind of uh, vulnerable to chaos resist, to chaos damage, because I just, with the three pieces missing, I mean, how would you put it together, you know? Oh, whoa, holy smokes. Wow, that dude said new. At least we just tagged that waypoint. <laughs> well, the problem is, is you just, you know, you want to stack agility. That would be where all the damage in the build comes from. But on the same note, you would want spell suppression to keep yourself from getting slapped uh, with spells constantly. <clears throat> You'd have to have evasion. You'd have to have evasion or armor, one of the two. And it, with the, the high dex build, I think you would want to go invasion. It would be easier to put the gear together. And then you still have to get to the caps for all your resistances, you know? And you don't have a main hand, off hand, or gloves. So I feel like it would be really tough to put that together. I mean, I don't know though. You know, maybe, maybe it's doable. I was just thinking when, since you're missing those equipment slots, I mean, the shield and the gloves particularly, because they're, uh, like, almost always a source of... They've got some stat stick value to them, you know? Just in time. I'm gonna try it out, because, you know what? It will cost me, like, nothing. To try that first before I transition this guy into something else. I'm at a, a stage now in the game where I've got enough of the uniques I might want to try out on it just laying around. So, I mean, I would have to buy very, very little to try it. So I'll definitely try it, you know. All right, we are here already. Wow, I did not expect 
the land so close. I hate going into a boss fight with this much XP to lose, but... Oops. Let's go down there. I don't know where we're going to go from here. I'm going to take these two. I thought I would be close to done with the campaign, and I might be. I'm sure there's some uh, random decks we can pick up and maybe some uh, like cold damage type stuff that we can snag after we get uh, get these. Like I said, I stopped following the guide. I want to try to, f you know, I mean, obviously I took 99% of what I'm doing from the guide, right? This is the end of Act 8 right here. Well, I mean, gotta kill, kill Dawn, then run back across the world, and then kill Lunaris and Solaris, and then it will be the end of Act 8. God, am I gonna face tank this? No, that's probably not advisable. Wow, man. I mean, these bosses just drop. They definitely just drop. I mean, obviously, Kitava is going to kill me like a dozen times. Bye. You know? The the end boss. My courage. But these little mini bosses throughout, man, they are just getting beat down. Two more points. Well, let's just fill this out right now. And then we need to go to uh, Harbor Bridge. Lun Lunaris Concourse, right? Act 10 Katava is an asshole. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. You know what? I completely beat it down like it was nothing on that totem guy. I still swear that totem playthrough was the easiest playthrough I've ever had. As far as, like, wink, you know, playing through with gear already like an alt. Like it had enough clear where I could literally just run through every map and drop totems down. But then you could switch out to that ice spear uh, for bosses, and the bosses would just disappear. You know? Like, you wouldn't even know they were gone yet. All right, here we go. Oof. Oof, wow. I couldn't get out of the beam in time. curse him and he disappears. Oof, man. Yeah, this is going to be an ugly one. I'm going to lose much XP on this fight. I can feel it. comes down to I gotta quit trying to target them because when you try to target them you're gonna run up because smite is a melee ability if you target the ground instead in front of them then I'm casting it into the ground and the the chain or AoE part is hitting them Sun and moon return. 
All right. Well, that was... That was these. Physical damage reduction for each enemy nearby. Hmm. Well, there's only one near... Well, I mean, this one would be more fitting, but on the same note, I just 10% reduced damage taken. But this one, I at least will get the run speed. What level am I now? I'm 60. But here we go. Act 9, here we come. We are headed into the Blood Aqueduct. Oh, I never went back and claimed rewards, did I? Was there rewards? You would think. You have offered us. There is nothing else. I'd thank the gods. Huh. Good luck to you. Nope. Sorry, nothing for you. <laughs> oh shit. The hell? We'll just take the waypoint there instead. I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite little runs in the game. This blood aqueduct run. As far as like this map and tile set, this is one of my favorite ones. That's the thing, is it's just, a, it's one path packed full of enemies, you know, and you can just, just blaze and blaze and blaze right on through. actually found quite a few of those in kindling orbs. My first couple playthroughs, I had to buy them. I never found any. Right off to Highgate. Talk to all the homies. We actually finished Act Eight. Act Eight, really quick. See anything you need. Anything you need. You must be the Oyun is gone. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. The nightmare. My sister. The corruption. All right, y'all. And I, uh, I failed miserably. And I do apologize. I know I haven't even been alive yet an hour, but uh, I failed miserably in my pre-stream preparation. I got to go grab a, a drink real quick. So uh, give me just a couple of minutes, y'all, and I will be right back.
Alright, sorry about that, y'all. I just cannot exist without caffeine. <laughs> I literally cannot do it. Alright, so... We need to get, uh... Over to the desert. I always get so lost in the desert area. Oops, god dang it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You just got to go to these lifts, and they're always, always going to be over on the right. So you can't, you can't really get lost. If you just run up the right side of the, the thing, you're always going to run into it. And then, once again, we got to do it again. And do we do it again? Are we in the desert? I think this is all the same, still the same area. This is clearly not the desert. Hmm, do we want to try to take on a mob? That would be a, a red mob. That would be a long run, man. Ooh. Wow. Pruning a branch to save a tree. Wow, dude hits so hard. Oh. Wait. Which one was that? Hmm, it didn't pop up. I think that was one of the better ones that you would normally buy. Okay, here we go. So we need to head over to the Oasis first. It's three levels before the desert. Oasis. That's not it, is it? No, that's the foothills. It's back down further. Down and then up, I think. Bunch of dinos running around all over the place over here. We got dino riders. That's convenient, because I usually end up forgetting to grab this. Being able to do this little event here saves me a little bit of time later on. There's a waypoint. Hmm. The waypoint here in this one is right in the middle, isn't it?
Oh, I already hit it. Oh, derp. Yeah, it is right there in the middle. I don't remember where the oasis is. Hmm. I mean, if I keep running around, eventually I'm going to find it. The o oasis is to the right of the waypoint? I didn't see it. Hmm. That's not the oasis, is it? Or no? Well, I mean, you'd think it would be it would be lit up, lit up. This isn't the oasis, is it? Where that is blocking the way? Oh, it is. Dang it! I skipped a step in that little walkthrough thing. I got to go back, teleport back to town first. I was getting ahead of myself, thinking I was farther uh, down the list than I actually am. Thanks to your After you get that storm weather chest, you gotta come back and talk to the peeps. You did it. They found... Have you ever heard much of the yeah, I gotta get that lightning in a bottle. Time, Bottled storm. See, when I received my... We got another point too. Where do we want to go from here? Hmm, let me see, where am I at? Got 28% armor, 21% spell suppression chance. I'm capped on the base elements. My evasion rating is so low, I don't even have a 1% chance. Huh. Oof. Let's come this way. Pick up some more of this Dex. I remember now. I'm not up to that. Because this is that irritating guy that constantly runs. <laughs> it's like, why you gotta run to the next zone and make me chase you, Scorpion dude? Why you gotta be that way? It just feels like, I mean, you feel like you're making such a good clip going through. And then you, um, then you hit this fight. <laughs> and it's like, it feels like it takes forever, you know? Whoa. Oh. Slapped by the slam. I think I actually got him through, or no, I guess we didn't get him through the first stage. Or yeah, we did. Now he's doing this runaway business.
Yeah, not standing in the in the fire has always been uh, has always been my weak point. <laughs> if there's shit on the ground, I love to stand in it. You know, poison, fire, whatever it is. <laughs> I just stand in that shit all day. Uh-oh. Your attack speed gets slapped so hard. Oof. Wow, that was uncomfortably close. Rest, my child. Be free from the torments of immortality. It's some beefy boy dot damage there, huh? Alright, we killed the big scorpion. I think we want to just take the the teleporty way out instead of running back through all this. Because now we do want to go up to uh, to what was it, the foothills. Oh, yeah, I could have talked to the NPC while I was there. That's all right, because we're going right back to him after we get, uh, get this stuff. So we need to go up to the tunnel. Wow, man, I'm telling you, this instilling orbs just dropping like crazy. Looks like a tunnel to me. Now we need to go up to the quarry. There's the waypoint. We better snag that. Because we'll be coming back to it here shortly. 
when we head on into the innards. <laughs> Not this way, is it? Could be. Another trip through the innards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This dude just teleports right out of that. The hydrosphere. We got it anyway. I'm going all out of order with what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, this is a cold build. I mean, it's a physical converted to cold build. But it's more about, um, I think the main reason Hydrosphere is there is because it um, slows the enemy's reaction speed. And since you're sitting there punching, slapping on the ground in front of them, it buys you a shitload of time. Needed to go through that door. But yeah, I've gone way out of order with the things I'm supposed to be doing here. But I realized what I was supposed to be doing, or I realized where I was at in the game and wasn't looking at the little guide thing. Yeah, man, you just throw it on an Arcanist brand with your curse and GG's, you know? Frost Bomb is really nice in that situation, too, though. Oof, oof. God damn it. I thought I was going to be able to tank through that last uh, little 1% of health, but. Now stop, Zappy Beams. Let me go get my shit out of the oven. <laughs> All right, now I did forget, like I said, I went out of order there because I remembered what the objectives were. I was supposed to be going to the Boiling Lake. 
and getting that basilisk acid. Which means I'm going to have to go back to the Vestiri Desert, run up to the foothills, and run back up to that. That 1%, man. Oh, yeah, that 1%. <laughs> I'm not up to that just yet. I mean, what do you add in with this? Like, if you added, if you had Herald of Thunder going, would those, but then again, you're doing physical and cold damage, so you wouldn't want, um, you wouldn't necessarily want lightning damage in the mix, right? I'm just trying to think more of a, for doing, like, T16 maps. Yeah, if you shock, you can do more damage, absolutely. But I'm wondering if that's just mixing too much up. All right, we gotta find that basilisk. Find all the stoned, all the stone statues, and he'll be right there. I think it's over this way. Where are you petrified homies at? There they are. Gotta be around here. Oh, and there it is. Whoa. That ah, basilisk went bad at all. I just killed the guy that was turning y'all to stone. Why is everybody getting so uppity? you think somebody would be walking over here with a beer in their hand to say, Hey, grats, dude. We've been trying to fight that guy for like two weeks. <laughs> but oh no. Oh no, they couldn't do that. Thanks to your heart. Keep your eyes so shut. Minus now that I have it shames me. Not since the fall. You killed Shaka. And nobody knows how to be grateful these days. That's what I'm saying, huh? I mean, my evasion rating is so bad that going with a percentage increase into evasion is just nothing. But it does have armor on there as well. Or I could come out this way and just keep stacking decks until I get through the campaign. Maybe I should do that. Keep keep doing the deck stacking. All right, so where to next? The belly of the beast. Time to go to the innards. Here we stand. We going back inside the intestinal track one more time. Let's do it. Get a little of that XP back I lost. Where am I at right now with level? I'm 62. And I'm in a 63 area, so I'm only one level behind. That seems like a pretty decent, decent place. And I can probably 
make that entire level up just with the trash mobs getting to where I need to go here. Oh I yeah. Just finished washing out the stench. Oh, my yeah. Yeah. Good. oh damn you. I had to stop to fuck around with the syndicate guy. Rip XP again. I was about to level too. I'm not up to that just yet. Oh, I know. It just sucks. <laughs> I It's one thing I've never liked about PoE is the death penalty. Absolutely hate it. I wish it wasn't in the game. I mean, just having to run through the map again, that's penalty enough. <laughs> you know, do you really need to lose 10%? Or is it 5% now? It's 10% in maps. Yeah, Grim Dawn's really good. Oh, I know. XP penalty there as well. I just saying, just in general. I just don't like... I personally can't stand uh, the death penalties like that. Especially considering you're playing softcore anyway. I mean, obviously, if you're playing hardcore, the death penalty is pretty obvious. Game over, right? The king doesn't do it, though. The king of ARPGs doesn't have that death penalty. <laughs> Why all these other people still thinking it's a good idea? Something doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right, huh? All right, let's do that anyway. Let's take that evasion I was just talking about not taking. Let's see. Let's take this one instead. The souls of these three. All right, gotta kill the peeps. That's a good time to be at this point, because this part could be a little death intensive too. So considering I just leveled, I won't be losing on too terribly much. Go Dodri. Wow, she just one tap me. Straight up one tap.
Got to be careful on these, uh, these peeps. God dang it. I could have swore it was going to be that way. Easy peasy on that one. Chevron, here we come. That one was easier than all of them. At last, Ouchie. Now we in deep shit, though. Even had time to get my Arcanist brand out. Wow. Talk about spawn camping you. we go act nine done that was relatively quick you're questioning me well time and tide i ain't gonna lie if you're thinking about dying trust all me don't good tidings to you ready to go and here we go act 10 wow Right now we're um, just over the six hour mark as far as total time into this run. And Act 10 is not super long, you know? I see your eye for freedom. It is good to see them. Remember, humanity needs us. All right, let's do it. You there? Hey, guys. I'm in need of your services once more. Help me. My mana is gone.
Well, I guess I didn't need to come back. Going where? To the Cathedral Square? Or the Ravage Square? I mean, nowhere else to run but down. <clears throat> so it's got to be this way. Just gonna double back around. set the ravage square there we go That guy's gonna just chase me down, isn't he? Guess we're gonna have to fight him, huh? Just smack him real quick and get it over with. go to the torched courts is where we're trying to get this is one of those go left to go right maps <laughs> They definitely like their down and arounds uh, in in all of these games. All right, looking for the desecrated chambers. Definitely not one tapping as much stuff now um, as I was. I mean, the like the fodder enemies still die, but definitely not one tapping.
These are all these little rooms are just dead ends, huh? Oof. Oof, man. Where we wanted to go? Desecrated Chambers. That's the place, right? Over here, right? Nah, uh, just a little side wing or whatever. I think it's down here. Wow, some's hit me awfully hard. I better watch that. Running low on those two. Chain Deaths, Inc. The Sanctum of Innocence. Wow. Right into that one. It's just I instinctively want to go target the mob, and that's just not what you, you do, you know, with this build. That's what's getting me. All right, staff of purity acquired. Hell, man, this is gonna be. I think I'm gonna shave two hours off my personal best, or close to it. Bannon is alive and well. Now that you have returned. For freedom. I fear I have not. Bannon was a man whom I. Yeah, I need to upgrade my healing flask, huh? I want immunity to bleed still, though. I might want to check out my... Oh, shit, I don't have one. Um, feels like I want to use an automated Quicksilver flask. How am I not using that now? Is 
Good lord. Uh, that one's 65. Let's see, we got elemental armor. I mean, I almost feel like I should go with that chaos. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to remove bleeds. Yeah, there's poison. I mean, I guess that... I don't think we're going to be running into much poison here, but... I guess that will be the next best thing. Oh, I've got way more accuracy than HP Bluffer. Uh, well, at least I did. Let me double check it again. My accuracy is 2362. My HP is only 1900. Yeah, I'm, I am good there. I was checking that one. All right, to the control blocks. It's down that way. And the control blocks is the one that's over here, right? Like it's over further before I go down. Maybe here? Hmm. Yeah, it's over further. That's the reliquary. We're still not over far enough. There we go. For some reason, I feel like this objective is supposed to be up, but maybe not. I'm not up to that just yet. Where the hole in the grates? There ain't a hole in the grates down here? What the hell, man? Made me use the stairs? <laughs> I just feel like I'm going the wrong way. Is this it? This is it.
Where you at, dude? Oof. Man, I am not doing dick for damage to him. Or he's, he might be capped and have to go through the stages or something. That might be the case. There we go. He did. For the points. All right, back to Ravage Square. That's it. We're pretty much on the final stretch. The other stuff is these are those are for respects, not for passive points themselves. Boom, I'm cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are on the final the final stretch. We'll level up one more time before we get to Katava, which is nice. level am I? 64. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess that's right, because I'm normally, like, between 65 and 68. Like, my... This league, anyway, my people finished, uh, finished it, like, between... Well, it was between, like, 63 and 68. Dead end. I'm not up to that just yet. Hell, I might end up leveling twice before I get there, the way it's looking. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we're already at the feeding trough. Oops, wrong button. stranger while you're here just in time you get to watch me get my ass kicked by the final boss about six million times <laughs> there will be some ass beating going on here let me tell y'all just saying
Just saying. <laughs> this is it. All right, we did get one more point. Per one armor on gloves. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have gloves, so that would be a pointless one to take. Impale. Hits and axe hits. I guess we just take the raw decks, huh? Yeah, let's just take the take the ten points in decks. That won't really make much of a difference, but it'll be something. I can't put an alk on that or er, derp. Because I'm wrong, uh, wrong gem. I was gonna upgrade this. I have another heal, but let's just do it. I mean, you know, I'm gonna die. That's just all there is to it. I shall strike you down. Yeah, man. The chaos damage is unreal. I was like, what, two seconds standing in the goo? Good lord. There's two. What do you guys think? I think it's going to be 20 deaths. was on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, see, just everything is a one-tap. What is that? Is that four? I, I do think 20 is a fair number, Bluffer. <laughs> was it exaggerate? I think that's a really, really fair number. That damage is just so intense. There's five. Is that five or is that six? Seven or six? Damn it. Okay, I'm not close enough to hit him there. It'd be nice if I had enough DPS just to burn the heart down. Ooh. On the wrong side of the map again, aren't I? Yep. Gotta hate the way it, may, it, may, it runs you back over to the mob. That's the only thing I don't like about the build is, I, I mean, you, I'm sure you would get used to just not targeting the mob.
Here we go. So that was... It's under seven hours, y'all. Total time. That's that, I mean, my my personal best was the one before that was at nine hours. But yeah, there's seven seven hours and done. I'm curious what, um... Hello. Innocence. I, I am curious on if this will do, if this will scale into T16 maps at all. Like, you know, I would definitely replace that. Um, I try to get, I mean, obviously that's a lot of elemental resistance. I would try to pick the elemental resistance up somewhere else and then get uh, armor. Well, I, the way it's looking in the current build, I would probably go with armor, but ideally I think you go with evasion and, um, and then elemental resistances. This is such a stat stick, it's really hard to get rid of, but I feel like you'd get rid of that too and take like a plus one or plus two to physical or cold. And then these, 56% raw damage. Well, that one's 28. This one's only 19. Plus another ton of elemental resist. This doesn't really do much for us at all. We just have the 10% chance at double damage because our strength's in between 200 and 400. And then this, we, could, we would lose the 50% movement speed, but we would gain massive stats and everything. I'm definitely going to play around a little bit with some different stuff and see how it does. Fantastic. Fair wind. Good tidings to you. All right. Let's finish it off uh finish it off legitly. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. And there we go. We are at the start of mapping for this character. Obviously, I'm going to buy gear and just jump ahead. Now I live my life in the hideout. <laughs> yep. Farewell. Come no closer unless you wish. My regards. I got to I want to pretty my hideout up one of these days. See, I got a safe house sitting here, but it's not the one I want. I need to get this guy over to here, and I don't know how to do that. I need Verici on research. We got this safe house sitting here ready to go. I'm not going to do it on this guy. But anywhere, anyway, y'all, anyway, a little bit of a shorter stream today than I was expecting. But that's it. We did it. Seven hours. Uh, it's actually just under seven. So I'm pretty stoked about that. My goal when I started this was to do it in six. So, I mean, I'm not too far past the goal. I think if I started earlier, I could do it in one sitting on a stream, uh, start to finish. But I would have to start earlier for sure. Like if I started around 10 or 11 a.m. Yeah, I think I'd be able to do it start to finish. But anyway, y'all, I guess I'm going to do uh, a little bit of recording and um, see what's up with dinner tonight.
Or we're having spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. The mother-in-law making meatballs. Uh, but anyway, that is going to get it for me for today, though. Just a little shorty just to finish up the rest of this. Um, I'm not sure when my next Path of Exile stream will be, but it will be soon. <laughs> it will definitely be soon. Show you guys what I did with my um, my RF guy. I'm going to actually roll. Uh, I think I'm going to try to craft an unset ring, a really good one. My old ring, basically I had the same shit on it. Lightning, Chaos, um, Max Life. But I also, instead of having that add 6 to 15 physical damage to attacks, I had 19% fire damage. Which, it was a slight, slight DPS downgrade, but such a tiny amount. But, what I was able to add in with it was Phase Run. And the reason I did that is... I just feel like RF, you move too slow. So I've got a uh, speed boost now. That's what I get a three and a half second buff every four seconds. That gives me a, a bit of a run speed increase. I'm not even sure how much it is. Does it say there? No, there that's frost blink. Forty-two percent. Oh, I do shield charge through mobs, but like not every map is super friendly for that. Just going pack to pack to pack. I cannot do this yet. And it was basically free. I mean, it didn't cost. It, it literally, the only thing it cost me was sixteen percent or nineteen percent um, fire damage, and fire damage is so shit on RF anyway. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I think I'm going to craft, if I could find a nice, uh, what is the level requirement on this one? Actually, this one would be fine, but I don't want to ruin this one because it's usable now, but if I can find like a level 85 plus, um, let's see, let's see Bluffer's fancy amulet. 18 dex, 15 dot multi, plus two, very nice. I'm surprised you went with Arsonist, though. That's pretty good, man. That's definitely a nice one. If instead of having the energy shield... You had fire damage over time, multi. That thing would be broken, OP. <laughs> That's really good, though. It's better than mine. This is what I use. I've got the cold damage on there, which screws me. And it's only a plus one. You know? But... Let's get it done. I'm I'm over four million DPS on Path of Building on this guy. But yeah, just by swapping that ring out, I moved Tempest Shield to the ring. Um, I put Infernal Cry and Shield Charge on one life tap, so that saved me one gem spot because I had them separate before. Uh, then I moved uh, Tempest Shield over to the ring, and then I gave Phase Run an increased duration. Of course, I'm still leveling up Phase Run. but got an increased duration on the phase run, and it feels a lot faster, man. I don't know, it really does. Let's see, we'll grab one of these Dunes maps since I got six million of them. Yeah, that one's fine. I don't know. It feels like it moves around quicker. I cannot do this yet. Yeah. 
I mean, obviously. Huh. Yeah, I had I took my Quicksilver off for boss fights. So, I mean, I would have to throw my Quicksilver back on. I threw, um... This sulfur flask in for the increased damage. I used to have faster attacks on it, but I took it off so, so I could add in that, um... I just feel like phase run is better than faster attacks. I had to get rid of faster attacks, basically. And replaced it with phase run. And so the gems worked out. I moved, uh, I picked up this onset ring and moved Tempest Shield over here. Or unset, not onset. You know what I mean. But yeah, I don't know. I just, it feels faster to me. Any tips for new players? Uh, follow a build guide. <laughs> I'm a new player, really, still. Uh, but my biggest tip would be it can be extremely overwhelming, particularly at the beginning. So follow, look up some build guides of something that you think looks cool and play that would be my starting tip because you will just get seriously, well, not everyone, you know, but like me personally, my first time, if I would have um, not went with a build guide, I would have gotten a little overwhelmed. You know? We get the greater Eldritch I I Icker after the damn map is already done. I feel like I gotta go around and kill these guys now just for that. That's too good to pass up, right? What do we got here? Oh, another one. Wow. Double dipping on the greater Eldritch Ickers. This is going to be a nice run right here. Holy crap. Oh, please be double. Divination card. I got one of the Mage Blood cards yesterday, uh, Bluffer. Last night I did. I wasn't, I knew it was something good, but I wasn't sure what it was. I had to look it up. Yeah, Apothecary. I was trying running a couple of real juiced up maps. I sold it. But I was broke after dumping all my divines into that uh, um, witch from the day before. I'm going to sell all the gear because I just don't like the build. But um, so I was able to get, get some of that cash money back. <laughs> and I've still got all that witch stuff to sell. So I should be able to get all. I probably will get all my money back because it's. The prices on that stuff is actually still going up, you know? But yeah, I was using um, increased card scarabs. Um, I had some relatively dense pop, uh, packs of mobs. That's not bad. 22 Eldritch Icker right there. I mean, those are... I was saying it's only one... About one Chaos each. But that's like finding 22 Chaos on one map. I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Surge Binders. Dragon Scale Gauntlets. My Atlas skill tree, I need to change. Um, this is what I've been going with. Um, of course, first I was trying to get to, uh, the Uber fights, which I need to start taking away. 
So I did do the Uber. I did the well. I didn't do it. <laughs> I got carried. I I did. I've cleared the Uber elevator fight once, but I had a super decked out character, a friend with me. So I still need to change that. The main thing I do is I like to go into this eater influence um, uh, stuff to get the the um, what the hell are they called? Well, I get double progress first off, or a chance to get double progress on the on the bar. But additionally, I get a lot of those um, eater pylons. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, then additionally, I got the legion stuff set here. Um, I went into uh, Harvest uh, to get some more Harvest goodies, more Sacred Groves, more uh, materials from the Harvest Drops, a uh, chance to get the Tier 3 plants, etc. And then um, everything else I dumped over here into the Searing Ar Exarch side. I'm going to change all this. I'm not sure exactly what we want to do. Um, now that I'm at the point where I'm using, uh, I probably actually burned them already. Yeah, I actually already burned them. I've got that one on there still, or left. Eight, eight additional packs of monsters. Uh, I still need to roll these three again. In fact, I can do that right now real quick. Just to get the maps a little, little juicier. And I've just been farming Eater Progress. Um, at first I was farming it because I was trying to beat the Uber, Uber Eater. Now I've kind of given up on him. For now, anyway. Increased lightning damage. Maps contain six additional packs. Polished Scarab. Nice, nice. We'll keep that one. And then Flaster Instant. Your maps contain six additional packs. We'll take all of those. I like it. I like those scarabs. Now, once you get super high end, you can, of course, do the harvest craft. But it's, you know, at my level, it doesn't work. And what is that harvest craft? The map doesn't consume sextant charges. But it's 2,500 per. So you have to get one that's got a harvest in it uh, or a sacred grove in it every time and then have all the additional juiced up stuff on top of it. That way you're getting at least that much per. But if you do that, you can um, not consume any of your sextants and you can keep the keep the rolls that you want on the map permanently. But I mean, I'll take those three. I like that polished scarab uh, drop. That's good stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's what I personally do. Like I said, I'm going to change this, but I, I don't know what, how I'm going to do it. At first, when I was first going through, I just went through and I took all of the stuff for, um, for more map drops. All of these 2% all the way around. I took all that stuff at the very beginning. And I'm not sure exactly how I will do it now. But definitely want to uh, let me send a bluffer a friend request there. Um, yeah, I'm not not just not 100% sure how I want to do it now. You went 100% into Legion. I mean, I think there's a lot of different good farming strategies. You just have to kind of pick what you want to go for. But anyway, y'all, that is going to get it for me for tonight. Um, it'll probably be live tomorrow again, I would imagine. But anyway, thanks a ton, everybody. Have a wonderful start to your week. And I will see you all later. Take it easy.